Hello everyone, I'm Sasansi, I'm here with Atlas playing From the Derp. Say hello, Atlas. Hello. So we are playing the Galau campaign. As uh we want to play From the Derp, but didn't want to play something too long like Nata, and we've already done that. Yeah. I mean, and we could go back to it if we really wanted to milk another hundred episodes <laughs> out of the game. A hundred more views, yeah. Yeah. Um But now, this is more I difficult. So this yeah. it'd be good. I uh, I do have experience with Glow, as people can probably see my saves here from my past series. There was a lot more of a noob back then. I say that I'm a noob and I have sixteen hundred hours in the game. Where we here, including me, are probably some of the best. Because yeah. people don't play this game as much as YouTubers do. Nah. Which is... So we have uh, 8,000 resources that we're going to start with. This is the same as the single-player campaign. I bring this up because some people brought it up when we played Ash of the Empire. That we had a lot of resources, and the single-player, you don't get it. You start with nothing. So, we're not... Te technically, we didn't cheat last time, but technically now we're not cheating, so... No, our excuse for that was we wanted a fast start. Yeah. And now we're going to punish us punish ourselves with a slow start. Well, not yep. slow start, but the Prepare way... Prepare for lots and lots of keyboard clicking. <laughs> this is... Oh, we're skydiving. Yep. I'm losing health. Oh, no. We get... So, we have to turn this into a weapons bay. Nice. Uh, It's more armored than I remember. Hmm. Uh, it's exactly how I remember it, pretty much. Oh, it has wheels. Interesting. Yeah, we, we can strip them off. We have exposed ammo. I don't exactly enjoy that. Is it a fortress or a vehicle? That's what I want to know. It's a vehicle, not a fortress. So it can move. Mm -hmm. We could upgrade right. this. It's a mothership, then. It is a mothership. I want those pontoons made out of metal and turned into missile bays. <laughs> okay. I'm on it. So, we are going to try and upgrade this as best we can. How do you, how do you mirror? I forgot. N. Oh, yeah, it's N. Okay. It's, it's, bit, it's been a bit. <laughs> it has been a while. Yes. Okay, um... I can't get rid of the resource containers without it getting rid of our resources. Then you just build more resource containers inside the thing for now. Temporary. Okay. Can I build them inside and then get rid of them on the outside? Uh, there we are. I've already done it. Okay, good. So we it have just to moved. move quickly, Atlas. I know. The f we will yeah. be attacked. Oh, oh, you can't levitate stuff. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it's a multiplayer. Mm-hmm. I, I do think we're going to want these pontoons connected with metal. Probably yeah. drop the wheels. Um, should we just disconnect them or try to work with it? I'm going to cut them off completely. The pontoons completely? Not the pontoons. I'm going to keep them, shape them a little bit. Okay. It's going to look sort of like the Fenrir. Uh, ooh, yay! I will. Uh, I'll connect it with steel on all the on all the sides. So now you can get rid of the metal part. Lovely. I mean, not the metal part, the wooden part. If you get rid of the metal part, we're screwed. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now we can't spend too long, actually working on this like uh looks wise and such yeah we're it has to be functional for now because we will get attacked although i find that nice about from the devs creations they look functional it's not always just because <laughs> they don't to be that way don't have to look good okay so you're making the pontoons bigger yeah a little bit of depth means we can add a proper missile bay into them okay uh, we should make the metal top, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm just gonna shape them first. Mm, you aren't in mirror mode, I don't think. No, I am. Um, the pontoons are different. 
Yeah, that's just how they started. Oh, okay. Uh, should I get rid of these wooden slope things? Yeah, you can do. Okay. And as soon as I've done this, I'm only making our wood because it's cheap at the moment. Mm. Cheap and cheerful is the name of early game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we can always make it better in the future. Okay, there we go. Uh, so should we just encapsulate this in um, wood for now? Um, or should we make the top metal? I think we'll be fine. Okay. These are pontoons. Actually, don't, don't 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 encapsulate it yet. Okay. Oh, uh, build the missiles first. Yeah, get some form of weaponry in there. Let's make sure it floats though. The main body is gonna make the ship float, not the pontoons. I know. The pontoons will help though. Okay, so we already have oil refinery, so that's nice. We don't have to build any of yep. that. Um, and I'm gonna work on a. Oh good. I'm gonna get rid of this oil refinery. We do not need it. And I'm gonna do something dirty. Uh oh no, don't you dare. What? No, don't you place that prefab. No. Where it's is too it? Late. I've already placed them. <laughs> no. We can't. No, you're a true you're a true FTD player if you've seen these. Oh, where are they? It, um, at, I want to be a little bit inside. I want to be. Ah. Oh. I I guess that is somewhat fair because, it's, because we've been here so long. <laughs> it's not fair. It's cheating. <laughs> it is. It. Well, actually, I don't think it's cheating. It's creative use of game mechanics. I'm gonna say because they're still in the game files. N no one likes them though. I loved them. Everyone loved them. That is true. Sometimes I feel that they make this game a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. Although like, I, f um, I think most people like that about it. Yeah, right. Uh, quickly make a nice little laser. You're making laser beams. Making my laser beams. Okay, the AI is horribly not defended, so... Yeah, do you want to stick a heavy armor... Thing around it. Heavy armor? Yep. Oh, okay. Remember, uh, they slashed the cost of heavy armor. Oh, they did. Oh, it only cost 25. That's bad. Well, not bad. Good for us. Bad for game. This is good. And then we're going to start want to start putting metal in places. Mm. Well, the, the alloy is actually making us float more than anything so yeah that will be difficult replacing that uh, I'm only gonna go with four uh, okay that's fine okay AI is encapsulated I'm gonna do a bit more work okay I'm gonna move off fuel since we've okay uh what what are our weapons at the moment do we does this... there are none Okay, that need okay, I will make missile silos. Uh should we start on the pontoons or should we wait? Damn, um you can I'd say make the missiles on the pontoons. Okay. I'm gonna make them at the back. Um make them five long at the moment. Short yeah. short range missiles should be all we need. Five tall or only five missiles? Five both. Okay. I could use the new uh, three meter pump. I don't want to. Three oh, meter good pump. Lord. What does that mean? It's basically uh, a triple pump. Oh, to pump air out. I mean, pump air. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, I'm also gonna redo this engine a little. Mm, I'm gonna put strategic fire on these. Okay. Just, just so we, so we get a little bit more use out of what we get. Okay. Uh, with a delay uh, of zero point three, I think we'll be decent. Perfectly fine. 
And... Uh, Mm, uh, we should make torpedoes, actually. Because if I remember the first set of craft we get, and they're really vulnerable. No, no, no. Vulnerable. No? I, I generally always got attacked by aircraft when I first started playing. Mm, okay, so missiles would be... I mean, we'll probably have torpedoes eventually. Now, that's a temporary engine that... I'm hoping might be able to power the laser. No, you it's not going to be able to power the laser. You said five tall? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to strip this engine. Should we just keep him default? Or... Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, that's decent. Actually, I might see if I have a prefabbed engine I can quickly stick in. Uh, I'm going to have to... Speaking of prefabs, we have to move the older cheaty fuel injectors. I hope we don't keep those for long. No, I'll, sw I'll switch them out after this episode. It's just because it's the first episode. Okay. Although, if you wouldn't have mentioned it, probably no one would have noticed. Nope. Well, someone Unless would they're... have noticed, but... Oh, yeah, someone would have noticed. That's what but... people do. That's what that's what humans are good at. There we are. I've got one of my brute force engines in. Is that one of my engines? No. Speaking of, I've actually worked on engine designs. I'm not horrible at them anymore. <laughs> I I say. Yeah, he says. Um, they're infrared seekers right now. Should we make them radar? Uh, radar. Okay. Do we need a radar thing for that, or or is that on board? No, no, no. That the missile home in itself. Okay, so we don't need any detection. No. Well, we will for the laser. Hmm. But that's the laser. That's always a problem with the laser. You always need so much detection to get it so precise. No, it's just you need the laser to be so bloody long. That's the problem with lasers. They just have to be so bloody long. Hmm. I, I've had a aircraft about 30 blocks long. And the laser, the full length of the aircraft, still has a 0 0.02 in accuracy. <laughs> Can't you just make um, I forget what it is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Uh, should we get rid of this roof? I think we have the resources. No, no, no. I put it there. Make it, make the back bit out of metal. Okay. Since it's more valuable. Yeah. And this is a little bit of detection here. What are these? 90 degree cameras. There are, there's a bit of detection on the front. Um, we... Oh, we reached the volume limit. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Time to get rid of stuff. Yeah. Okay, um, the pontoons, are they needed? We'll shed unnecessary bits. Okay. In all fairness, remember, there is a lot of redundant blocks and stuff. No, I'm just going to take out the fancy, like, corner blocks at the top. They're really not needed. I just end up disconnecting the fuel lines because... That's of course redundant. I do. I kind of forgot about the, the limit. I thought it'd be bigger. It's only a thousand bigger than uh, ashes, so... Well, boats typically need to be bigger than tanks, though. Yeah, this is all about making your small little boats, though. Uh, we can do without a windshield, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> I f yeah. Yeah, we can do without a windshield. Okay, uh, we have we have a few more blocks to work with for now. I'm just going to get rid of the cameras on the side, because they're really not needed. Okay. We have 360 detection anyway, so... Yeah. We Are could they... probably lower the front as well. Yeah, I don't think we need any of that, like, front head thing. If we... We could chop that off and put the um, AI back on it. Maybe. But we'd have to do that quick. 
Or we keep the AI there and build another one and then get rid of the first one. That probably be better. Yes. Yep. Um, I think buoyancy is going to be a problem. Let's try and put it in the water. Might be. Yeah, buoyancy is a problem. Or maybe. No, buoyancy is not a problem. I thought it would with all the metal we have on the bank. Oh no, it's right, dark. Uh, connector. I and forgot how dark this game gets at night. Yeah, how, how dark it gets. It, it really does get dark quick, doesn't it? It doesn't need to be that dark. There doesn't even need to be a day-night cycle. I know it's for immersion, but it really gets annoying in campaigns. Yeah. And then look, the sun's already back up. It's like... What's even the point? You know how fast this planet has to be rotating? Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a tiny planet, though. Mm, your laser at the top is kind of... Oh, oh no, it's in the again. middle. Uh, should I get rid of this front thing? Or is this um, your detection you made? Um, no, that was already there. Okay, can I get rid of it? You can do, but you'd have to replace the detection. Here, I'm just going to copy-paste it. Right, um... I... I want to make... No, I'm just going to make a laser ball turret. Oh, volume <laughs> limit. Yep. Shave it off at the front. Yeah. So I put the detection in the back behind your laser i don't okay it's i there. mean all fairness i'll probably manually control the laser okay so let's get rid of it no it doesn't need the extra wood underneath mm, what do you mean I, okay, i'm just um... gonna completely chop off the front part except for the ai i'm just gonna leave that there so we can build another one Oh, I thought that was the whole front. <laughs> no. As everyone screams in panic. You mean it's you screaming in panic? Yeah, it'd be me screaming in panic. You'd be all calm and fix the situation. No, it just gives me enough room to do what I'm doing. All right, uh, watch this real quick. At the front, we need something that symbolizes us. Hold on. This, um, it will be our symbol. I think that's a cup of tea, isn't it, for me? Hmm, maybe. It's like a tiny unicorn horn. Tiny unicorn horn. <laughs> tiny unicorn. It'll I always the remember, the start of this campaign was brutal for how little time you actually had. I think we'll be good because of all the knowledge we have. Oh, no. What happened? What happened? Oh. What's wrong? The wood fell through. Never mind. It kind of glitched out for a second. I was hoping the server didn't crash. No, I'll tell you if that happens. I mean, it should be a lot smoother now. Okay. We have the AI directly in the front. If you have time, can you... You know... New AI. Move it. Yeah. Because I don't know what you need for your laser. Okay. Uh, oh, make sure you don't delete the hearth thing. At the, it's right behind the AI. Those are like need to be our most you, important you, things. You can only have one at a time. Though that's the thing. Mm. Oh, so we can't make multiple. Can you have one on each ship? One on each ship. Okay. Yeah. Mm, is and buoyancy a thing? Might be. Mm, barely. Okay. Um, I'm going to encapsulate the actual ship. We'll slowly convert this as time goes on. Yeah. Like I, I reckon in the future what we'll do is we'll pull the pontoons in. A little bit. 
Mm-hmm. I just want the the missiles and the pontoons purely because the Fenrir. Hmm. It, it more. It just means if someone a aims for the center of mass, it's not going to knock out our weapons. Ah, uh, smart. Uh, I'm going to put a metal wall along the front. I should be able to get rid of the AI. Now I hope so. Oh, the AI is gone. Yeah, we still have it. Excellent. Um, repair bot, heartstone. Okay, there we go. It's fully encapsulated. Oh, oh no, what happened? I oh. just got rid of it, that was all. I, I was moving it. <sighs> that was all. Don't worry. He's trying to give me a heart attack. Is that... You trying to kill me? Is, this, is, that, is that what the plan is? Nah. Ooh, we have lead at the front. And sonar yeah. underneath. You know. Actually, that could be a thing. Put a few uh, torpedoes on. Yeah. Uh, front of the pontoons? Or... Yeah. Ooh, I'll put them on the arms. Ooh, that'd be cool. I don't know how well defended they'll be, but... They'll be put on the arms. Yeah, that'll work. Somehow. Like how the exhausts aren't let, let linked up. Uh, just for reference, I did not hook up the missiles. Uh, nah. At worst, we'll have to manually fire them. Okay. We're just rushing because we, we know we're going to get attacked at some point. Soon. It should be really, really, really soon. Yeah. Unless they've changed how the campaign works. They, they may have, because I remember it was, like, brutal. Yeah, you got attacked before you could even get sh the resources for a ship. I think it was because they, like, wanted it to be, like, tough. Um, we don't have any ammo as well. Uh, well, we get a bit then. I think they put all of it on the outside. Mmm, you reckon... What's this? I put the connector on the wrong way. There we are. I have 800. Let's make that 16. Bam. Okay. Um, torpedoes, three long or four? Uh, make them five. Okay. And actually, I'm going to try and make a quick radar satellite. Okay. Saves us a bit of extra room. Mm, okay. Torpedo. Right, metal block. And get these. Actually, air. Ion thruster. Um, should the torpedoes be active radar or infrared? Uh. Sonar. Oh, yeah. Not a sonar buoy, is it? No. No. Where is the sonar? I can't find it. Torpedo sonar. Hmm. Pretty sure that's what it is. Torpedo. It's torpedo propeller. Hmm. It'll be in there, don't worry. Oh, torpedo sonar. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't find go. that. It was hiding from me. Uh, all explosive, uh, I'm assuming. So I'll replace the frag with explosive. Yeah. Okay. Um, one turn target prediction, two fins, and two fuel tanks. I think that... These are pretty but, long distance. I don't exactly know if they need to be that long, but... They shouldn't be. 
Can't hurt. Nah, I can't hurt. Get a nice little propulsion balancing. Uh, I'd say start putting some armor. We are really back heavy on that thing. Yeah. We're extremely back heavy. Ag again, Dude. people, we we're making this functional for now. Not. Yeah, it's not gonna look nice at all. I'm just making torpedo bays, and they look ugly. I'm just, just, just saying. It's not uh, gonna look where good. is the? I'm trying to find where radar is. There it is. Ah, the joys of FTD. <laughs> The joys. It's the simple things you enjoy. In all fairness, I've, I've missed playing it. I think the whole point of FTD is I've played it so much, I can't bring myself to play it on my own anymore. Hmm. It... It does get kind of boring if you just do it by yourself. I can't see any enemies yet, which is... Nice. Surprising, to say the least. Okay, um, what should I do about floating? Um, I'm going to replace this, since we have plenty of resources, I'm going to replace the f wooden thing at the front with metal. Okay. Just because that is where our main weapon is, and it's not defended by very much. Okay, you do that. I am not going to really care yet. I'm making my little satellite. <laughs> little satellite. I like my satellite. Hmm. Uh, we need to get rid of extra, extra material on this thing again. Just make sure the weapons work. Yeah. That's all we need is the weapons working. Mm, I'm going to hook up the two missile silos. And then all weapons that we plan on making should be functional. Right, we have lift off. Was Oh, oh, you flying away? Okay. Um it's more of a hover than a than a graceful fly away. Not meaning a dog in your dreams, but, um... Yeah. Huh. It's more of a, a graceful hover. Maybe that's your hovercraft you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Take off the radar, slap on some sonar. Oh, that made no sense. Uh, I, I, know, I know purely what it is. There's just not enough juice in the old engine. I need to make them battery banks bigger. Okay, I'm going to make us a little bridge at the back. You do that? Maybe at the front. I'm going to do it at the front. Oh, I think I know what it is. No, no, it's the AI. It's the aerial AI. Oh, it's telling you just to hover? Yeah. Uh, Minimum altitude, I don't know, 1,000. What? Are we lifting? Mm. Am I flying off? No, I can't see anymore. Um, you know, you're hovering at a higher altitude. Oh no, you're flying. Never mind. Thing's going pretty fast as well. Yeah, it's just going off to space. And Ooh. look at the map open up. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ooh. It's not really that big a map, is it? Ooh, no, not at all. Right, uh, fleet name. Radar. 
satellite. All right, now that um, this thing's working. Ooh, oh, they changed the laser here. Did they? Go. Look, look at look at your window. Yeah, I'm looking. Can you see it? Yeah. Yep. What's wrong with it? Nothing. This is it works. Mm. Surprisingly. Okay. Uh, I think I. Uh, yeah, we're a bit too back heavy. Um, it should should be fine. Um, let's see if it drives. Ooh, we don't want it to drive, do we? What? We have to be able to maneuver. Hang on, I'm gonna try and make it a little less back heavy. Are you just gonna put floaty stuff? Or what do you, what yeah, do you I'm gonna put some alloy on the back. Um, uh, okay. I'm gonna start working on a ship. Uh, my own okay. personal. You little, can do. My own little ship. Since it seems like we're not going to get bombarded. Oh, uh, do make sure you save. Strangely. Yeah. I'll save between episodes, don't worry. No, I'm sa saving this vehicle. Still back heavy as anything. It always makes you feel like the game is about to crash as soon as you... <laughs> Go to save anything. Yeah. Okay, so we haven't been killed. Hmm. Um, it says the campaign time's two hours. What is? Yeah, it's actually saying we're supposed to be attacked. I don't know. Hmm. Weird. Um, I'm going to quickly teleport around to... It's going back down now. Okay. Uh, misc was the heartstone. Where's the heartstone? I can't find the heartstone. What do you mean? I don't know where heartstones were in the game. Oh. Oh, were you dying up there? Yeah. Hmm. As uh, are. Does wood or light alloy have more armor? Ooh, light alloy has quite a bit more. Interesting. They've changed all the values for everything. Yeah, they have. Why are, you, are my ships typically longer than yours are? Yours are always short. It's not the size or length that matters at us. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure this gets into atmosphere properly. What if the Finnerir was like 16 blocks? Mm. It wouldn't be efficient. It wouldn't work. Um, is Phil not working for you? Um, I think there's a Moi player bug. Hmm. It used to work. Yeah, it did. Um, I guess we'll start wrapping up this episode. Oh, is that that time already? Yeah, been about 34 minutes. So, uh, do you want to do the outro? Yep. And so I did the intro? Sure. Thank you all so much for watching so much. That made no sense. <laughs> when do you make sense? <laughs> thank you all for so much for watching so much. That sounds like an old person. Thank you for coming over. Is Okay, whatever. Thank you all so much for watching this. really helps. If you like this series, please give it a like to give it a great fresh start. Uh, not fresh start, new start, because it's a new series. Um, like it if you enjoyed all of it. Uh, what are you doing over there on your channel? Over on uh, my channel, I'm playing StarCraft 2 Decks to the Void. I'm actually wrapping that up. I've recorded the last episode of the main campaign. So it's just the prologue left. No, epilogue. What's an epilogue? Never heard that word. I'm slightly disappointed. Either way... Um, also playing Sunstrike 4 in the German campaign. Got a couple more episodes to that, then we're on to the next campaign. Um, and then there's also the Factorio series I do with Atlas. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can finally promote that. It's been forever. Yay. 
<laughs> it's been forever. It's great. And um, what are you doing over on your channel? Um, we're doing some Factorio. That's great. RimWorld's going to be starting up real soon. Actually recorded the second episode um, a few days ago. So I'll be what? showing. I know. RimWorld episode two. It's been like three weeks, but it'll be showing up probably Thursday, depending on what day this comes out. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.